SCIET NCERT presents Audiobook of Mathematics for Class 6 Chapter 14 Practical Geometry Page 286 Part 3 Exercise 14.5 1. Draw line segment AB of length 7.3 cm and find its axis of symmetry. 2. Draw a line segment of length 9.5 cm and construct its perpendicular bisector. 3. Draw the perpendicular bisector of line segment XY, whose length is 10.3 cm. A. Take any point P on the bisector drawn. Examine whether PX is equal to PY. B. If M is the midpoint of line segment XY, what can you say about the lengths MX and XY? 4. Draw a line segment of length 12.8 cm. Using compasses, divide it into four equal parts. Verify by actual measurement. 5. With line segment PQ of length 6.1 cm as diameter, draw a circle. 6. Draw a circle with center C and radius 3.4 cm. Draw any chord AB. Construct the perpendicular bisector of segment AB and examine if it passes through C. 7. Repeat question 6 if line segment AB happens to be a diameter. 8. Draw a circle of radius 4 cm. Draw any two of its chords. Construct the perpendicular bisectors of these chords. Where do they meet? 9. Draw any angle with vertex O. Take a point A on one of its arms and B on another, such that OA is equal to OB. Draw the perpendicular bisectors of segments OA and OB. Let them meet at P. Is PA equal to PB? 14.5 Angles 14.5.1 Constructing an angle of a given measure Suppose we want an angle of measure 40 degrees. Page 287 Here are the steps to follow. Step 1. Draw line segment AB of any length. Step 2. Place the center of the protractor at A and the zero edge along segment AB. Step 3. Start with zero near B. Mark point C at 40 degrees. Step 4. Join AC. Angle BAC is the required angle. All these steps are shown with the help of the adjoining figures. 14.5.2 Constructing a copy of an angle of unknown measure. Suppose an angle, whose measure we do not know, is given and we want to make a copy of this angle. As usual, we will have to use only a straight edge and the compasses. Given angle A, whose measure is not known. Step 1. Draw a line L and choose a point P on it. Step 2. Place the compasses at A and draw an arc to cut the rays of angle A at B and C. All the steps have been shown with the help of the adjoining figures. Page 288 Step 3 Use the same compasses setting to draw an arc with P as center, cutting L in Q. The adjoining figure shows the same. Step 4 Set your compasses to the length BC with the same radius. Step 5. Place the compasses pointer at Q and draw the arc to cut the arc drawn earlier in R. The steps have been shown in the adjoining figures. Step 6. Join PR. This gives us angle P. It has the same measure as angle A. This means angle QPR has same measure as angle BAC, the adjoining figure shows the same. 14.5.3 Bisector of an angle Do this. Take a sheet of paper. Mark a point O on it. With O as initial point, 
draw two rays OA and OB. You get angle AOB. Fold the sheet through O such that the rays OA and OB go inside. Let OC be the crease of paper which is obtained after unfolding the paper. OC is clearly a line of symmetry for angle AOB. Measure angle AOC and angle COB. Are they equal? OC, the line of symmetry, is therefore known as the angle bisector of angle AOB. Construction with ruler and compasses. Let an angle, say, angle A be given. It's shown in the adjacent figure. Page 289. Step 1. With A as center and using compasses, draw an arc that cuts both rays of angle A. Label the points of intersection as B and C. It's shown in the adjacent figure. Step 2. With B as center, draw in the interior of angle A, an arc whose radius is more than half the length BC. This is shown in the adjacent figure. Step 3. With the same radius and with C as center, draw another arc in the interior of angle A. Let the two arcs intersect at D. Then line segment AD is the required bisector of angle A. This is clearly shown in the adjacent figure. Try these. In step 2 above, what would happen if we take radius to be smaller than half the length BC? 14.5.4 Angles of Special Measures There are some elegant and accurate methods to construct some angles of special sizes which do not require the use of the protractor. We discuss a few here. Constructing a 60 degrees angle. Step 1. Draw a line L and mark a point O on it. Step 2. Place the pointer of the compasses at O and draw an arc of convenient radius which cuts the line PQ at a point, say A. The steps are shown in the adjacent figures. Page 290. Step 3. With the pointer at A, as center, now draw an arc that passes through O. This is shown in the figure. Step 4. Let the two arcs intersect at B. Join OB. We get angle BOA, whose measure is 60 degrees. This is shown in the adjacent figure. Try these. How will you construct a 15 degrees angle? Constructing a 30 degrees angle. Construct an angle of 60 degrees as shown earlier. Now bisect this angle. Each angle is 30 degrees. Verify by using a protractor. Constructing a 120 degrees angle. An angle of 120 degrees is nothing but twice of an angle of 60 degrees. Therefore, it can be constructed as follows. Step 1. Draw any line PQ and take a point O on it. Step 2. Place the pointer of the compasses at O and draw an arc of convenient radius which cuts the line at A. This is shown in the adjacent figure. Step 3. Without disturbing the radius on the compasses, draw an arc with A as center which cuts the first arc at B. This is shown in the adjacent figure clearly. Step 4. Again without disturbing the radius on the compasses, and with B as center, draw an arc which cuts the first arc at C. This is clearly shown in the adjacent figure. Page 291. Step 5. Join OC. Angle COA is the required angle whose measure is 120 degrees. This is clearly shown in the figure below. Try these. How will you construct a 150 degrees angle? Try these. How will you construct a 45 degrees angle? Constructing a 90 degrees angle. Construct a perpendicular to a line from a point lying on it, as discussed earlier. This is the required 90 degrees angle. Exercise 14.6.
1. Draw angle POQ of measure 75 degrees and find its line of symmetry. 2. Draw an angle of measure 147 degrees and construct its bisector. 3. Draw a right angle and construct its bisector. 4. Draw an angle of measure 153 degrees and divide it into four equal parts. 5. Construct with ruler and compasses angles of following measures a 60 degrees b 30 degrees c 90 degrees d 120 degrees e 45 degrees f 135 degrees 6 draw an angle of measure 45 degrees and bisect it 7 draw an angle of measure 135 degrees and bisect it 8 Draw an angle of 70 degrees. Make a copy of it using only a straight edge and compasses. 9. Draw an angle of 40 degrees. Copy its supplementary angle. What have we discussed? This chapter deals with methods of drawing geometrical shapes. 1. We use the following mathematical instruments to construct shapes. 1. A graduated ruler. Two the compasses, 3. the divider, 4. set squares, 5. the protractor, 2. using the ruler and compasses, the following constructions can be made. 1. a circle, when the length of its radius is known. 2. a line segment, if its length is given. 3. a copy of a line segment. 4. A perpendicular to a line through a point. A. On the line. B. Not on the line. Page 292. 5. The perpendicular bisector of a line segment of given length. 6. An angle of given measure. 7. A copy of an angle. 8. The bisector of a given angle. 9. Some angles of special measures such as a. 90 degrees B. 45 degrees C. 60 degrees D. 30 degrees E. 120 degrees F. 135 degrees You were just listening to the audiobook Mathematics for Class 6 Narrator Gaurav Marva Assistance in Production Soumya Malik Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary Presented by CIET NCERT New Delhi, India